So here we are. This is the dress that we will be reconstructing. And I wanted to show you in closer detail all the designed um, uh, elements that it has and that we will be attempting to recreate. It's of course a very lightweight uh, cotton. I believe this is cotton batiste and I've been doing a little bit of research into the different types of fabrics that we can use. There's something called Nelona, which is a batiste. I'm assuming Nelona is the brand. So um, it's very helpful to use it when you do French machine sewing. Um, some people call this style French sewing, others call it heirloom sewing, other call other people call them Spanish high sewing techniques. So I guess it just depends where you live. Um, the name that it's given to all of this sort of like older style of decorating a dress. So we'll start with the bottom. So here you can see this is called Madeira applique hem so it's just been folded up and it's been hand sewn with running stitch and a couple back stitch here and then to do the um, scallops and of course because you're working by hand you can sort of gather the mm. the scallops so as you can see they're they're pretty even but every now and then there's a scallop that's a little bit uh, smaller as you can see the dress has what i call french seams so this is really good for very fine fabrics or when you're gonna sew tulle that you want the seams to look perfect this was done as well with the sort of mix of running stitch and a, a couple back stitches here and there and because we are making a doll dress, I am going to try to do as much of this with hand sewing, except maybe for the pleats, though they're so tiny. Look at these pleats. And they're, of course, um, shadow pleats or, or uh, shaped pleats. So it might be better if we try to do them by hand. Now, I'm assuming all of this is hand embroidered, okay? So I don't know if I'm going to attempt to do this bar tacks, this, this sort of hem stitch by hand because it is so, so fine. I might try it. <laughs> I'll try to do as much of it as possible. There's a couple of French knots and some satin stitch designs. I don't want to copy the embroidery exactly maybe i'll try to do something of my own but i do want to try at least this technique this sort of very fine embroidery whether at the top as you can see here or somewhere else so you see that the pleats are one millimeter wide the the shape pleats that follow the madeira applique and the stitches are so so tiny but these pleats that are at the top of the dress these are slightly bigger they're probably two millimeters width it has three four five six five four three so it's very balanced it's very beautiful and of course they're release pleats, that means that the pleats are not enclosed with the seam. So they release the fabric to make it um, gathered. So on this sleeve, like I said, all of the seams are French seams. So they're all done by hand. And here we have a very puff sleeve, short puff sleeve with lots of gathers at the top. In the cuff, it's an actual extra piece, and it's a piece that has been seamed again with French uh, seam, and that has an embroidered scalloped hem. 
I don't know whether this was done by machine or by hand. I'm assuming that by hand. And it has, um, it, it sits like this. It just sort of pops under the, the sleeve. And the back of the dress, three pleats, they're, they're like uh, further apart and they're wider than the front pleats. But here we have a nice tuck to be able to f close a dress properly because this is one piece. Normally when we sew doll dresses, we fully open them at the back and I'm not sure if we're gonna try this on a doll dress because this might sit too high up on the doll and it'll be weird to try to sneak it over the head of the doll or to try to put the doll through the neckline. So we'll figure the, the back part uh, once I get to it. So here's, it only has two buttons and they're, um, they're mother of pearl buttons. They're very small. What I love about this dress is that you can see all the, all the handwork that was done on it. So almost the entire dress was done by hand and I just love that. So here is the color and as you can see it's not, it is sort of like the Peter Pan color because it's a little bit curved but it has a tab at the front. See this tab? I mean it's not a touch it's all hand embroidered so 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 fine this is like one thread embroidery it's absolutely gorgeous and again minute pin tacks following the shape of the color so the front of the color has fringe knots in each scallop and the back doesn't so this is our reconstruction project now I don't know how long this is gonna take me because I do not have this fabric I do not have the way thread to sew this I do I mean I do have a lot of embroidery thread but I don't know if I if I want to use it so I have to do prototypes and tests of everything that this dress it entails and I'll give you a list of resources and supplies and everything once I get to reconstructing the dress okay I also don't know which size of doll this is going to go in and so we might have to adjust a few of the designs to not make the dress so busy on a doll but we'll get to that obviously we, I don't think we're going to have this amount of pleats maybe it's going to be something like this right in any case I have to figure out which doll is going to wear it and then I can design it for her. So I hope you're excited for this reconstruction to come. We might finish it by December, so don't don't get too upset, but it will be provided in installments as I get to work on them, okay?